guys, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm at Urban Air. It's like this jumping world, I guess I can say that. But this is, you have to get an ultimate pass to do sky stuff and this thing that I'm doing right now. So at first I was scared to jump down, but I did jump down. Finally, you know, the relief. But still, yeah, I, I tried it two times. The first time I was a bit scared, the second time I just let myself go. Okay, so now I will, I'm at the top. And I'll just, look, see, I, I just took a step down because I was scared. Okay, and then I just fall down. <laughs> That's it. And then this is a sky course. It's gonna be here for like the entire video maybe. But I, it was so hard because like those chains, they were so hard to pull to another one. I guess that's how they keep you safe. This was, you know, the probably the ones with no bottom. Those were probably the scariest. Like this one, it was super unstable though. I don't know how it, it held that much weight. If that... If that teacher thing, um, person, she guides us. If she had stepped on it, I don't know how it handles that much weight, but it does. And then I'm here negotiating with that little girl because she said she's waiting for um, the assistant to come and help her. And I'm like, I'll help you instead. Because the chains were super hard to pull to another um, course. You see that thing that's hanging from my back? Yeah. So I helped her and then I'm going on this one. I'm planning to do all of them. I probably won't be able to though. This was a bit more safe, but like still super unstable cause the boards kept wobbling front and back. But it's a good thing they attached that chain to my back cause then it would be super annoying if it was in front of my face. Then this one was one of the easiest, I guess. Not exactly, but still. It wasn't as hard as moving on boards that tremble. Because you feel like it won't support you and it has no weight limit. Yeah, that feeling. Okay. So I will now go on this square tile, triangle tile. They, these are also very unstable. It did, you know. So I waited um, for her to go a bit further because it's holding three people at one time. An entire rope ties those things on and the entire thing, it's holding three people at a time. So I waited for them to go a bit further. The triangle was the hardest, I guess, cause I didn't have much space, uh, much space on it for me to step on. But I, it wasn't so high, but like I was standing on so many people. Like if you look down, there's people sitting and everything. It was super irritating, I guess you could say. And I don't know why I still have the fear that this will break, but I do the problem. Then I'll just go over. The last one and done. So basically I'm, I finished it here this one and then I don't know which one I'll do next. Maybe the one that goes right. I probably want to the straight one. Yeah, I did the one that goes right. It is kind of easy, except the thing is you have to hold ropes that are just like, you know, to the side. They feel like they won't hold you. But for this one, it was a bit better since those ropes are connected to the actual obby. They didn't wobble or anything.
Then there was this one obby that you had to walk straight on a rope and think it might hold you. Like literally, there was this one obby when you had to hold two dangling ropes beside you and walk on a rope, like this one straight rope. Super weird. See, I'm on it right now. Well, there's one harder than it, but this one was a bit easier. There's another one where you just have two ropes dangling beneath your feet and you have like just those two dangling ropes to hang on. It was super weird and scary, I guess you could say. But now I'm back at that obby again because I wanted to do the other stuff, even if it did look a bit scary. So just watch. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm here. This is the one where you had to go over the boards. They were right in front of you, like the middle ones. You had to go through the side and around, if you can understand that. Okay, look, you'll see me do it. Yeah, I was too afraid to step on the rope itself. So I just took the alternative, see how far my legs can go out. No, but literally, it's it's super scary standing on one rope without anything to hold. Okay, and I'm at the end. And then this one was the most stable one I could have ever dreamed of. But the thing is, you're still holding on to dangling ropes, which does make it a bit scary. And the tops of it was... Were, I don't know, it was a bit hard, a bit squishy. I don't know what they're made of. Probably more hard, so. Okay, that went through pretty fast. This is the one I was talking about. You have to stand on two ropes and hold on to the dangling thingy. But I'm gonna get off it and stand on the blue thingy in some time. Cause the blue thing is what connects all of them and prevents you from having more fear of you falling down. But yeah, um, this was super scary. Like, yeah, I had to end up stepping on the blue thing sometime. But I did make it through at the end. Okay, now I'm gonna go over those blue things once more. Am I though? Oh yeah, I'm going through the two ropes again. And see, I'm just walking on the blue thing this time. Huh. Then I walked on the ropes for like the last two seconds. Because I didn't like it. It was a very horrifying experience. Along with that, I'm doing this one again, except it's another color, I don't know why. It's red, the one I did was blue. Okay, let's just finish this off.
Okay, that's done. Now I'm literally walking on some X's. And by the way, have I ever mentioned that lights change way too much? I'm pretty sure if you guys agree with me, please like and subscribe. Definitely give a comment. I might edit my videos based on that. Just saying. And then this is another one, except the tiles are not X's, but they're curved. And I think that's about the end. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching, like, literally. But still, like, this is, like, the end of it, though. And I don't know why I wanted to do some more. Except I was super frustrated with the chains, too. See, I'm struggling with them to pull them. But anyways, bye, guys. I hope you liked the video. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.